What's up, YouTube? This is Matthew Baku, also known as Matty, broadcasting live from the Matty Lair. In this video, we take a look at... Well, not take a look. Well, we're going to be taking a look, but it is a nerf tagback video, where we look at a blaster from the past to see what it offers us in the current hobby, as well as current nerf battlefield or playing field. Now, this one is a is great for modding potential, potential, and also, it's what, one of my ultimate all-time favorite blasters. We are going to be looking at the Nerf Alpha Trooper CS18 in the original End Strike yellow style. This one was the first of, I believe, I guess, first of its kind. It was like the, uh, it was like a drum, a, a submachine gun class blaster. Um, it did come with a, in the original packaging, you would see that it came with an 18 dot drum. It was the second it was like, I believe, the second blaster to come with a drum. The first blaster to come with, like, the highest capacity was a 35 dot drum with the Nerf, uh, what is it, the Nerf Raider, um, the Instrike Raider CS35. This one came with an 18 dot drum. I do not have that. Um, I got this from a friend on Facebook, so all I really have is just the blaster itself. Um, I don't really like the drum. I personally just like the, my 12 round magazine. But, um, yeah. So, and it's. This is an unmodified form, and when it came came out of the packaging, it was just very basic, simple. 18 darts, the blaster itself, and the 18 dart drum. It did not come with a, um, its externals were a stock attachment and sling attachment point. Um, I guess you could put a sling right there in that slot, though I don't really know what that slot is for. Um, so yeah. The only thing, I think people had a problem with this because... It kind of, sort of jammed up a bit. Kind of mind you have to. I gotta put a new. I guess go in and I'm gonna open this up and I believe check out to see what's wrong with this and all. But one problem I did have in a lot of reviews. I did see in a lot of reviews about this though was it was a very good blaster. Yes, but if you weren't careful, it could jam up. It could jam up very easily. I don't know if that was the if that was the plunger or the, if it was the plunger in this or the catch, but I do know it did give some users very, it did get very bad reviews on the, uh, now you can see it kind of jammed up there. There it goes. Um, it's not the easiest to pull back. I think it gets caught on something when you're trying to prime it, and so the only drawback with this particular blaster is it can be hard to prime sometimes, but other than that, this was a very, very good blaster back in the day. Um, also, for all you modders out there, you also know that this is a, is just like the Nerf crossbow, or, you know, the N-Strike, uh, a lot of the N-Strike blasters from the original N-Strike line, they have a lot of modding potential. I've seen, yeah, a lot of people like to put worker stocks, uh, worker stocks in, I guess, worker magazines or something, kind of like a banana clip magazine from, I don't know where you get it, but I do know like stock extenders and worker stocks are very common in the Nerf community for Nerf mods. Um, a lot of people also u do paint jobs on these, and uh, I can't remember the YouTuber's name, but a YouTuber did his own mod and sort of put a, uh, I guess it was just for style points, a Nerf, a sort of a bayonet attachment just for style points and all. It was like a red and black bayonet attachment, I believe. I don't remember his name, but, um, and if I remember right, this did, this did, 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 does have slam fire, or I don't know if it did or didn't, but um, this makes for a very, very good adversary on the Nerf playing field. Um, being the fact that you had an 18 round magazine, or instead of the, uh, before the 18 round mag uh, magazine, I believe, and this came out either before or after, but um, this was actually a very good blaster back in the day, just a lot of and also a lot of modding potential. So I'm going to go ahead and do pull go and do a firing test. Um, I got this from a friend on Facebook. Um, he sent it to me in the mail. Uh, I only got it for like about thirty five dollars. I think the uh, I think regular price on this back in the day was like forty five dollars or so. So yeah, and I believe this was a, I believe either a Target or Toys R Us exclusive, I'm not sure. I know you can get these on Amazon, you know, um, so, but, um, I'm going to show you my style of blaster real fast, um, my style, I don't like the 18 round, 18 round, I'm sorry, dog drum. I prefer, you know, like a, uh, long, long strike, long strike sight, 
a recon, a recon stock and six round clip, uh, six round clip, I'm sorry, I only noobs say that, a six dart magazine, and a 12 dart magazine, um, as my primary magazine in it. Um, I don't have any of the original Nerf darts or anything, I just, I'm, so I'm just going to be using a couple of the zombie strike ones. Um, now that these are, com <laughs> sorry, that these are compatible with this is compatible with just about all end strike accessories and as well as new end strike elite accessories. So I'm going to oops, pull this camera down a bit. So let's go ahead and pop off our couple dots. The performance of this isn't exactly very good. I just got it maybe maybe a month ago, so I gotta go in and I'm gonna probably gonna go in and open this up and put in a new spring in it. And update the internals a bit. So let's see here. Yeah. Um yeah, so it does shoot pretty good. Um, but I do have to say though that this particular blaster and all, I'm going to go in and uh, what is it? Go in, and update the spring a little bit, and also I'm going to try to see what the problem is. Why it's why this thing with the if it's the plunger or the catch or whatever. Um, but overall, this is a very good blaster. I would highly recommend this to anyone. I do know that the Alpha Trooper, the Strife, Rapid Strike, and Recons are. Two of the, uh, only a few of the primaries, and such as Nerf War, like, I believe it was like Sambo and all. I do think I, I believe one of the best primaries is pro, two probably most common primaries, and I'd seen this in a Rob's Thunderdome thing and all, that a lot of the Thunderdome stuff is like, uh, he has big bad boats that might have liked to shoot boats. But, um, this one is also one of the very most worthy primaries. You might, um, this is, in my mind, this is just perfect to go along because, for one, it's light, you know, you don't have to worry about it being bulky. It's light enough so you can attach it to a one point sling, you know, and draw, draw you sidearm or whatever. Sidearm, sorry, you know, draw you secondary. Um, also, reloading with this is just very quick. You can just, when it's like this, you can just drop the magazine into another one, pull back. So, yeah, this gave people precision and accurate. Precision and accuracy on the playing field. Um, like I say, though, the only problem though was just the priming handle. It did get caught and jam a lot. So, um, yeah. So, like I say, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of a mod on this, just on the internal. Just probably go in and if there are any locks, probably take them out and all. Then uh, update the spring. But other than that, though, that concludes this tag back. Um, do you have any? If there are any tag backs you would like me to do or future reviews, it on my channel, please leave me a comment in the box below, in the uh, comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, just a really quick update, you know, um, I'm going to be, I have sent this, I'm going to do a shout out to Evan B, um, I'm going to be doing a, another few, a, a few new thrifting videos, shout out to you, Evan Butler. Um, and also, I'm going to be doing a, oh, what is it? <clears throat> going to be coming out with another nerf, a nerf mod, a show you guys a nerf mod that I am working on. Um, if you want to see that nerf mod and all, please leave a cut, please subscribe to stay up to date with that video. And as always, I'll see you next time on Mighty J Reviews.